Welcome, benvenuto, to this excerpt of the autobiographical writings of Servant of God, Father Delindo. Today, Father Delindo speaks to us of his conviction that the crosses in our lives are truly unrecognized treasures. Father Delindo writes, The cross is the true measure of our love. When the soul loves God, it is on the cross. I was well liked and highly regarded as a missionary priest. In fact, as I later came to know, the superiors had included my name on the list of those worthy of the office of bishop. Nonetheless, when I reflect on the barrenness of my soul at that time in my life, I am filled with sorrow. I would easily become impatient. I was quick to react defensively against the slightest offense, and I was no longer capable of those noble acts of fortitude that I had demonstrated at the apostolic school and in the novitiate. But no one did me the favor of correcting me, nor was I aware of my wretched condition. Jesus himself took pity on me, for he loved me despite my ingratitude. He began preparing a cross for me. Once again, someone's misunderstanding led to persecution. Ordinarily, a cross when accepted with resignation, is medicine that heals a soul and predestines it to great things. This may seem crazy, but it's true. For the cross is a treasure, and when it is embraced, or at the very least, accepted with resignation, then it germinates, grows, and bears fruit. A cross, born even only marginally, merits for us another, more fertile and richer cross, with which the soul is further elevated. I am convinced that this first cross, which, given my inner state, was very heavy for me, merited for me the crosses that came later in my life. The most beautiful cross that I have been given was my lengthy and precious persecution. Even so, the cross that Jesus sent me when I was master of chant caused me many days of deep anguish. Though my pain was great, at the same time I felt blessedly uprooted from the aridity that had marked my former days. I felt keenly the nothingness of earthly things, the vanity of creatures, the harshness of men, and the ultimate futility of placing one's trust in these worldly things. I felt as if I had been freed from the ties that had been paralyzing me. I meditated anew on the lives of martyrs, I relived the painful yet cherished years of my childhood sufferings. I knelt before our Eucharistic Lord. I confided again in Our Lady. I felt humiliated interiorly. I spoke less of myself and prayed more. It was like an inner renewal. As I write... I recall the immense love that Jesus has shown me, and I feel deeply moved. The Lord was inviting me to glorify Him in a much greater way. He wished to purify me so that I would be a less unworthy instrument in His hands. He invited me to this new way after tribulation had propelled me closer to Him, brushing off at least some of the dust that had been covering my soul. When God calls, 
the soul onto a new path of grace, he puts the soul to the test. I would go so far as to say that he pushes the soul to a place where, to prideful human nature, it seems unreasonable. At this point, God asks for complete self-abnegation from the soul. If the soul closes its eyes and follows Jesus with total self-abnegation, then the soul is victorious over itself, passes the test, and sails upward to new heights. With every passing day, I felt my soul growing stronger and stronger from the constant practice of patience and self-denial. The humiliations in coming from someone who was my equal and not a superior were all the more efficacious. My soul is like a passion flower. It blooms in suffering and hardship, but withers quickly in prosperity. This God knows all too well. Thank you for watching and listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode from Father DeLindo's life. His entire life was filled with both small and large miracles, as well as an abundance of suffering. Servant of God, Don Dolindo, pray for us. If you have any questions, comments, or stories about how Father Dolindo has been a blessing in your life, please write them down in the comments section below. Sia lodato Gesù Cristo. Sempre sia lodato. Arrivederci. Till next time. Bye-bye. God bless you.